All right, so I am back home now. Just thought I'd start the video up here with this nice little view. It's only from the second floor, but uh, at least I have a, a nice little view out here. So let's check my video here. Thank you for donating as well. to attempt to get up there because look how big these uh, fruit are they're really quite large ones it's, it's quite big so maybe I can put the phone on there and we can look up let's try that it's going to be difficult but look at look at all the spikes on there it's not going to be easy there's not a good view for it really Maybe if I, I don't want to put my phone here because someone walking past can just steal it. Let's be quick about it, eh? Oh, I can't even see it. Hold on. Is that it up there? With my trusty knife, I'm going <laughs> to just the, from the kitchen. You know, I buried my good knife. I'm just going to try it to get up there. Fail, cannot get up there, that is just too intense. Look at that, because that branch is there in the way. I'd be like trying to get up in there. And then look at all the spikes. And the thing is way up there to cut, so I literally I can't reach over all those spikes. That's too intense. I don't know about this side either, because you can just see, like look from this angle how difficult it would be and some of these are just falling off and rotting. This one calls she guys got to donate. I can't get this food. <laughs> so I did end up uh, kind of wobbling the branches so that I, I had about 20 fruit fall off and just pick them off the ground. Of course I've just given them a real nice wash here. But you know what I'm going to do tomorrow? I think I'm going to go back and I'm going to cut one of those actual uh, green branches which are stiff and just use it as a poking branch and I'm just going to whack the fruit off. So that's just what I got there. What have we got there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, almost 20. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go into palm fruit benefits so yeah tomorrow I'll just get a stick one of those uh, green branches hanging and I'll cut that with the knife and then I'll use that as a poking stick to just poke the fruit off I should have thought of that then but it's just down the road so it's not really a problem plus they're better hanging on the uh, the bundle you know they'll stay fresher longer so that's what we were just looking for there's those yellow type, not jelly, but just these normal yellow palm date fruits. I think it's a date. But look, there are many different ones. I've never seen uh, ones hanging down like that. And they're red by the looks of it as well. It doesn't even look yellow. Interesting. So yeah, just these sort of normal ones. 
There must be a date tree then. What? Oh, they're different, aren't they? They're not dates. Let's have a look into this. This is more the type type of one. See, I don't know the exact variety, but it's more the yeah. That's it. It is. It's Butia. Sorry, <laughs> almost forgot. It's been such a long time since I had a look into this. But yeah, they're, they're the type that we just uh, were uh, trying to forage. So they're Butia, not date, and. Um, yeah, let's have a look into see ones like this this pretty much looks like the exact ones that I was just trying to get see yeah so they're they're butia and uh, let's go right back butia butia palm butia um, fruit benefits. Yeah, it's most definitely high in vitamin C, definitely fiber. You can see that as soon as you like score the fruit. But um, yeah, vitamin C definitely. I get a massive hit of vitamin C from it. I wonder if anyone can tell us exactly how much times, how many multiples of uh, the average orange, because it's definitely more than oranges. You can sense that, you can really taste the vitamin C, almost as if you're eating a vitamin C pill. You can really taste it. Orange kind of, yeah, it has it, but it tastes like an orange. I feel a bit more than vitamin C. There's fruits that, and there's things that taste more like vitamin C than the orange. Even uh, pine needles have, you know, like seven times the vitamin C. Let's have a look what they say here. Yeah, you're going to get good types of sugars. That's a point there. Sugar palm fruits, they call them. You know, it gives you the idea, yeah, you're, you're for sure going to get, um, you know, nice sugars in there. Which means you can avoid... You know, later in the day, needing that sugar hit when you're walking around town a lot and you want to go buy a lollipop or a Snickers bar or whatever it is, you know, you have a couple of these in your pocket and you get through just fine. And that's why I prefer these because they're healthier, much, much healthier. There's no, you know, gunking and clogging that you get with, you know, your normal sugar products. Because a lot of these sugar products, you know, they're mixed with all these chemicals and stuff and you take a little bit of the sugar and your brain uses it and glucose and all that for your brain, but there's a whole lot of product, say it was a, a, a chocolate or whatever, there's a whole lot of chemical product left over that you'll find clogs your body and your body has no use for. With these, it's, you know, all absorbable. This is Palm Raya. Let's look for Butia. We, we've said Butia. Uh, let's just go have a look at it. Okay, so 100 grams, they call that. So there's not, not much in there. I, I'm surprised that there's not more iron in there. I don't know, I have a feeling that there's got to be some iron in there. Anyway, so there's quite a lot of calcium, as you see there, more calcium than vitamin C. Interesting. So definitely vitamin B and C are in there. Here it mentions iron, but 
on the breakdown we see zero milligram so that's interesting so you know really when I look at these palm fruit I, I see vitamins more than minerals if I'm looking for something you know top up on minerals you know I'm eating more vegetables and um, I'm gonna go for things like seaweed I'm actually thinking about today going back on the beach because yesterday I saw a whole lot of seaweed and I want to go with a bag and collect it and just put that on my meals. It was that uh, it's sea lettuce type of seaweed I found. So hopefully it's still there on the beach. Hopefully it's not all uh, dried up. Or hopefully there's a new batch washed up this morning because it looked good and I ate a little bit of it yesterday while I was walking along the beach. It was definitely good stuff and uh, you know it's interesting you get even it's interesting you don't think about seaweed as having sugars but it has mannose and some of these rare eight essential sugars that I talked about in that other video the health consultation on seaweed and sugars And I could taste that in there yesterday. It's, it's interesting, you know, you pick seaweed straight up off the beach, the sea lettuce stuff, and it's like sweet. Tastes totally different than land lettuce, which is much thinner and more devoid. So they're, they're going to make palm candy. Palm candy drink. Yeah, another thing you can do with this, and as common here in Uruguay, they get the batia and they put it with uh, cane, cane alcohol from Kanya or like from cane sugar alcohol and just sweetens up the alcohol so they're calling it the jelly palm yeah if you get these really really perfectly ripe you can get a little bit of that jelly description in the uh, flavor which is uh, Going, is interesting because it's going to uh, uh, that jelly the same as you know the jelly on blueberries for instance is going to add to your negative ion gel so that you have more of this negative ion uh, applicable gel this gel which can absorb the negative ionization and hold it in your body uh, you're going to have more of this gel around your body and it's that white stuff you see pouring into an open cut, you know, along with the white blood cells in there. But the first thing that comes is this negative ion gel, right? And then you get nutrition and all the stuff later, right? Then comes the water and nutrition. But this gel props up there and it starts to build back your body from the base right because it's going to hold the sacred geometry and so forth right where your new cells are going to build and yeah i'm in uruguay here it says endemic to argentina brazil and uruguay yeah they're everywhere here that is a badly written website <laughs> Shit. anyway let's try and find some more health benefits here oh, what are they saying here skin care Butia capitata. I'm not sure if that's the exact variety we just picked, but it's definitely a butia. The taste resembles a pineapple. Yeah, I have to say that's a that's a very um, a good synonymous flavour to mention. Pineapple with hints of vanilla and apricot. Definitely apricot and pineapple. You might get hints of vanilla too, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, it's, it's like a pineapple apricot flavor, really. That's how I would uh, say. You know, you do have different ones. These ones I've picked are that sort of flavor. I have had ones that do taste more banana or apple-y. They're in a different tree, completely different uh, suburb, back in another place I was living. The jelly palm flesh is similar to the low quart, yeah, but definitely, as they say, with more fibrous texture. 
and you want to wait until they're fully fully ripe and starting to almost off you know it's kind of the same with most uh, wild foraged food they're really good at the last second when the sugars are just you know really coming out although that being said you can take them a little bit early eat them a bit early in order to get the benefits of certain bitters right because bitters are the healing compounds sugars are not so healing so it depends what you're using it for I guess if you want more astringent quality right which tightens up your cells can release more gunk out of your body by squeezing all your cells together well, that's kind of what astringency means to me um, you know you would eat it early and get those bitters and get that bitter flavor eat it just before it's fully 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 ripe and you get a bit more bitterness but if you leave it right to the end it's just that sweet sugary flavor and it's more palatable however maybe less you know astringent um, less qualifying as like a medicinal you know what I mean yeah as I thought it has significant amount of pectin that jelly that jelly sort of uh, nature substance and yeah definitely pectin will add to the gel what, what I'll call the negative ion gel that your body uses to heal cuts open open sores the jelly palm fruit can be a cloudy type of wine yeah they make a cloudy type of wine for sure what is this here yeah, you can definitely get palm oil from there Right. Anyway, let's have a look here. Jelly palms are great against the effects of aging and can treat skin issues. Well, it's interesting they mention that, and I was talking about, you know, open cuts and pectin and that, and negative ion gel, and improve eye health as well, they say. This is because of the rich content of B-carotene and pro-vitamin A. And you definitely got the yellow pigments going on there. And it's a very valuable in a balanced diet. See, I've particularly gone out of my way a couple of streets from where I'm living to get these for that reason, because it's valuable to adding to my diet at the moment because I don't have a lot of extra money for food, uh, and especially this week I've got like nothing, so I'm, I'm actually after this video going to be asking for donations for a uh, entering this house, a housewarming basically. And yeah, this is like a precursor video <laughs> to that, um, to take care of someone's past donation as well and get me some good nutrition for the week because, you know, I'm going to be buying um, and have already bought very, very basic food with low nutrition like potatoes, right? Because I need something bulk energy in my stomach and that carbohydrates from just normal potatoes I really like. It goes really well with my body, my blood, whatever. My body seems to enjoy that and it's cheap. But then I don't have any vitamins in the mashed potato. You know what I mean? That's what I'm making. Most of my meals this week are going to be mashed potato. But I don't have any vitamins in there. So I thought, well, those palm fruit I walked past the other day, they'll act as my fruits. Right? Because I can't afford like to buy a whole different assortment of fruit this week. So yeah, definitely good at preventing colds, and they real these butia are really nice on your throat. Like when you eat them, if you have any sort of like inflammation or sore throat or a cold or a flu or even you know cough, uh, the the C virus, even this virus, um, you know you have a hoarse cough or something like that. Most definitely butia are up my up the top of my list to heal that throat. They're so good at it. Uh, sure, you can go to the pharmacy and take a whole host of products but and suck on cough lollies and all that. Again, you know, chemicals, hard candy, you know, where's that going to go in your body? 
Uh, these are the way better alternative, these Butea. I, I picked the Butea for healing my throat over, you know, ev everything in the pharmacy. Cough syrup included. And remember, cough syrup can even be addictive too. So yeah, this is, what, this is traditionally what I've gone looking for if I ever had, you know, like a, a bit of a sore throat in winter. For instance, now it's entering winter. Uh, I'm fine at the moment, but, you know, if I uh, talk a lot, maybe say if I was smoking a lot now or something, I would get more sore of a throat and then I would go to the Butea Palm. That's what I've traditionally done for the last, you know, five or whatever years. Yeah, it's really, I just really want to emphasize how good Butea are at healing a sore throat. Like, it, I really want to lay more emphasis on it right now. So if you're listening to this and you've not tried it, I'm, I'm telling you I'd prefer it over any product in the pharmacy for, for real and by far. Uh, not just because it's natural or something and I'm trying to be a naturopath, but I mean really the efficacious nature of the healing. Um, it just is really soothing. And that vitamin C is in there, you know, it's, it's a little complete package, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, you can definitely make marmalades from it like they mention here. Desserts like marmalade, sauces or alcoholic beverages as I mentioned before. Seeds can be used after roasting and grounding to brew a hot drink similar to coffee. No way. That's interesting. I don't have an oven here, but you'll probably oven cook them. Seeds can be used after roasting and ground to brew a hot drink similar to coffee. You know, I really want to try that. I've never tried that before. I might just take a couple of seeds and, and put it in a, uh, in a pot because we've got a little stove element, but I don't have an oven here. And then just, uh, I don't know, how long for, I wonder how long it needs to be roasted, maybe half an hour or something like that, right? Kind of usual roasting time. Man, that's interesting. I, mean, I, I want to taste it. I bet it won't taste great. <laughs> I just think it's going to be too rich in tannins and, and like too bitter, but we'll see. And I'll, uh, you know, if I do that and remember to come back to this video, I'll leave a uh, comment in the description of the video how uh, the, the Butea Palm Seed Coffee went. <laughs> That's something to try for sure. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, they do have a, a short storage time though. Like here it says, you know, the fruits will last about a week in the fridge. Definitely no longer. They'll start to rot fairly quickly. Like most, um, you know, wild forage f fruits I find go off quite quickly, which is good in a way. It means the natural process is going naturally. They call it the sour coconut. Again, no iron is uh, mentioned there. So yeah, again, really, I, I just approach this for the, the vitamins. It says vitamin K. It has, has a little bit of vitamin K there. Huh. All 
All right, well, thanks, uh, Peter Haman, for supporting the channel. Oh, and uh, I'll try and let you guys know how the, uh, the coffee turns out, if I remember to make it.